Alright, GeoGuessr again, of course. I'm sure you've long awaited this. Um, well, I, I was just thinking what to do. I mean, I've played a bit of the Battle Royale. That is fun. I'm not great at it. It's a bit stressful. I've done one or two videos of that today. Uh, I did Famous Places last time, and I just thought maybe you'd go back to Country Streaks. Um, 24 is the best streak at the moment. We're going we're gonna to have no, no time limit. Um, so... As I forgot about the dog of the day, we're going to just say it doesn't matter that there's no time limit because it's right here. And he's a French dog. I'm going to say that this isn't France. So, yeah, that's that's the dog. Is it a French bulldog? I don't know. But I'm assuming he doesn't actually have the moustache and that. There's a bit of Photoshop going on there. Not great quality picture, honestly. Hmm. Okay. This might be a hard one to get. Alright. Alright. I know where we might be. At least we, we, we may as well not, not be around the bush here. Let's just go with Nigeria. It's the first guess. Lagos, Nigeria. Yep. Cool. Let's just be a bit snappier. True, e true love exists. Damn right. Okay. Are we really in Mexico? Mexican colours. Gotta say, I haven't played this in a while, so. Uh, I haven't played Country Streaks in a while. But I'm thinking we're in Peru. Just want to. It doesn't say it explicitly on here, but that's dot .pe. If we can find one of these cities, like San Juan. San Juan. Where could P be, the other way? Other than that. Alright, well it's a second one. Let's just go for it. Yeah. It was in the Lime district. Is that the capital of Peru for what it Lima, not Lime. Rumac. Okay, I don't want to zoom in there. Look at all these numbers. But they are. Seems like a pain. This might be a quick one. Nope. It's not. Jinxed it now. It's gonna be a long one. Looks like Beck's card up. The light, I mean, the the lighting makes it look green. It look, does look darker, though. It's a Cooper, though, isn't it? Not, not quite. Okay. Are we in Romania? Oh. Well. I'm going to say one thing is we're not in North Korea. We're in South Korea. Okay. Streak of four in five minutes. More like four minutes. Okay. Sorry. If 
we do 10 in a 10 minute video then we're buzzing it, like we are we could put ourselves on a two and a half time there it's just like when you get to a hard one you really need that time to look around obviously you come along <laughs> and see like uh korean writing or something here uh, obviously i look at this and i think norway but then I'm saying that, and it's obviously Sweden, not Norway, so, you know, I think Sweden. Don't know why I keep getting those mixed up. So, two dots, so dot over the E, two dots over O's. Yeah, it's got to be Sweden. Hungary! <laughs> oh, why did I go for that? Okay, that's I've got to keep that in mind that uh, Hungary has those sort of letters too. Specifically Budapest by the water. Okay, well, six minutes in, we'll start another one. And we'll get a four or five streak. Are we in Lagos, Nigeria? Yes. Ghana, next door. Okay. Sure, sorry for rushing that one. Is that what you call Cyrillic? Or is that Greek? It looks more more Greek. Does it mean it's in Greece? That's not what I'm saying. As we know. Oh yeah. I don't need to stop recording soon, that's what that means. Look, I don't think we we're in Greece, that's for sure. It's just... Okay. I remember. What we're going to go for... Oh, what was the... I can't remember what the country was that it, that had these letters. Was it Bhutan? I don't know. No. I know there was a, there was a country... That used Greek letters. And I didn't... Was it Kyrgyzstan? Mongolia. Mongolia. There we go. I'm happy with that one. It's just the people didn't look Greek. They didn't look European at all. I'm like, well, the only country I know that uses Greek letters and is, uh, isn't is European is that one. It could have been somewhere else. But that's just my experience. And it paid off, so... Yep. You why? Like I look at that and I think Uruguay. But why wouldn't it be you what you are? Is there any ones that have you are that would have stopped it from taking you are? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Cool. The Kitchen Express. Korea. South Korea. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't too far off, you know. Korea, Canada. <laughs> He's like confused there. Okay, so I I just saw Korean writing, and I thought gotta be Korea right because what's the chances that there's a like a Korean based food shop in somewhere else wait is this the same place yeah because I just saw Korean right in there and you know it says like four for five dollars 
and Koreans surely don't use dollars and the fact that everything else is in like in English um, and they've got senators and there's Canada flags right there and uh, these fellas don't look Korean yeah and it's like canpar.com like Canada Par Express like parcels Canada parcels they deliver parcels in Canada and it says Toronto up here you know you could easily confuse that for Korea so that's that um, <laughs> yeah see you in the next video have a great day